I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be showing you what the first law of thermodynamics is. So thermodynamics, let me just spell it out for you. Um, so that's a long word. Um, whoops. Um, ther... That's not how you spell thermo. Um, thermo... Mo... Dynamics. Okay, so here's the word with my very bad spelling. Um, so, thermodynamics. Um, and what does that mean? Well, you can probably guess from context. You can probably see the roots. Um, thermo, meaning um, heat or like the energy. And dynamics, meaning, well, being dynamic, of course. So, <laughs> um, so thermodynamics is basically the study of heat and energy okay and the first law of thermodynamics says that um energy um that's way too small of text um whoops that's still small uh maybe 30 pt there we go uh, <laughs> uh energy oops um, cannot be created, whoops, I'll just make it a little smaller, maybe 20 pt, um, energy, that's better, cannot be created or destroyed. So that is the first law of thermodynamics. Given that law, I have five examples here, right? I want you to figure out if these five examples still hold with the first law of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. Okay. So think about it. Okay, I'm assuming you um, thought about it already. Okay, so let's look at the first example, this light bulb. Okay, so this light bulb is an image, of course, and so what, how, how does li the light get this energy here? Or I guess I should do it in black because that's white. Uh, black, mm, that's almost black. Fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's almost black. Can you believe this and this are the same color? Probably not. Uh, anyway, so... So how does this light bulb get this energy? Well, um, this is a filament, right? That is a filament right there. So, um, so how does it get its energy? Well, um, electrons travel from... How, well, how does it get that energy first? So, uh, electrons, um, electrons travel from down here in the bottom section there. You can't really see that, so in the bottom section over here, travel up this guy, move around here, heat the filament, which means um, they, this, this material here is some kind of resistant material. It doesn't really want to be moved. It doesn't really want the electrons to be moved, but when they do move, um, it heats this filament up. So that's how it, it gets energy. Um, how does it release it? I mean, like, if... If we, I mean, so this comes to an outlet, right? Maybe this is your outlet. Um, this is your plug-in. And this is your outlet. Uh, maybe, um, boop, boop, boop. There we go. Okay. So that's your outlet. A very good drawing of an outlet. When you unplug it, when you unplug it, where does this energy go? Well... Um, of course, it's heat, so, right, so it, um, comes out is, as the form of heat and light. Of course, that's the whole purpose of a light bulb, to get light, right? Okay, so let's look at the second example. A pool table. So, how, if you, if you've ever played pool or billiards, um, then you probably know that if you hit a ball, 
like this. If this guy hits a ball, this guy maybe. If we hit this ball, it'll travel and maybe it's going to hit this ball here. And it's going to go into this pocket. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, so, but everyone knows that if you just hit it just very softly, it'll go here and then stop, right? Uh, why does that happen? Well, if we zoom in, which we can do, but it's kind of fuzzy, because it's a pixelated, it's a pixel image, um, and let me just, uh, okay, so, um, so, this is the floor, right? That's the floor, okay, and so, and, and it has friction, right? It has little tufts of, um, grass here, right? So, um, so here it interacts with the, um, the bottom of the ball interacts with that. It has friction, so it will stop. Also, the f there's air particles everywhere, right? So if it slams into these um, air particles, then um, it should slow down and stop, right? So that's why um, that's why a ball stops, and it it still um, works with the first law of thermodynamic thermodynamics. Okay, let's look at this example now. Fire. Okay, so fire. We've all been next to a campfire. Uh, it's great. Um, if you if you haven't uh, if you haven't leave that in the comments below. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do a uh, gray white color there there. Boop. Too small. There we go. There we go. Okay. So this fire has coals at the bottom, which are super hot. So it there's combustion combustion going on. So um so it's heating it up so that there's fire here. That's how it gets its energy. How does it release its energy? Well, obviously there's light in the form of photons and heat in the form of, well, I'm not sure what. Um, so it gives off light and heat. So that's how it gets and releases its energy. Now, what about this example here? Okay, lightning. How does lightning get its energy? Well, well, up here, there are some negatively charged... Well, this is a cloud, right? That is a c big cloud. Um, so, the po negative charges are at the bottom. Look this up if you are still confused after I explain this. These negative charges are at the bottom, and these positive charges are at the top. Boop, 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 and so on, right? Okay. So when lightning strikes and the and the ground is positive too. Because if it's up here negative then this becomes positive. So positive charges, okay. So um positives want to attract. That's why for example here there's a bit of lightning going from here to here. That's because this is also positive, right? So opposites attract. So that's why you sometimes see lightning inside clouds. Um, and light, when night lightning strikes the ground, opposites attract, so, boop, 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 boop. Um, so that's why lightning happens, and it still fits with the second law of thermodynamics. Or first, sorry. What about this guy? Um, he's diving off this great high board, I don't know, maybe this is like, three meters? I don't think the numbers really matter here. Um, anyway. Where does he get this energy to jump off the board? Well, um, his food um, that he eats, of course. And then he jumps in, or she, I guess, um, jumps into the pool. Where does, the, where does this energy go? Well, it goes into, well, up here, if she's standing up here, there's a lot of potential energy up here, right? Gravity wants to pull you down. And this right here, this image right here, it has been released into kinetic energy. And then, when maybe when she hits the pool, uh, boop, uh, boop, there we go, okay. So, that when she hits the pool, um, waves are gonna travel out, right? And then, she's gonna be slowed and stopped. But most of the um, energy gets released into the water and some of it gets released as heat when 
and they, she contacts the water. So, still fits with the second law of thermodynamics. Okay, let's look at the last example. Whoops, where'd the last example go? Wait, was that all the examples? Yeah, that was all the examples. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Um, anyway, so that is what the second law of thermodynamics is. Uh, first. Ah! <laughs> first law of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. Sorry, I was studying the second law of thermodynamics. Um, I can't... Th uh, yeah. Thermodynamics. <laughs> Ugh. Never say thermodynamics with with a stuffy nose. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. I, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, um, like this video, press the thumbs up button, and um, and tell other people about this channel. Um, otherwise, see you at hasadusofleason.com, and see you next time. Bye. I said bye. Bye. Hello, hello. Bye.